Hi everyone, happy Sunday afternoon. Hope you're well, hope you're enjoying your Sunday afternoon, whatever you've been doing. I've had a very productive day and I'm sitting down and I'm doing your general tarot reading. No fixed sign, no fixed subject. You are the questioner, so this is your first card. Um, anything from an outside, outside or external influence is the energy, whether it be a person or a situation. So if it doesn't resonate and you think, mm, no, that's definitely not for me, don't try and make it fit, maybe Tuesdays will be, okay? So let's cut the deck from the colour card. So see what colour you're drawn to in your mind's eye. See what is coming in. Um, and again, as I always say, if it doesn't, at the end of the uh, reading, if it doesn't resonate, um, that's fine. Or if the colour isn't for you, it doesn't mean it's the message isn't for you. It's just, just a little bit of fun, guys. So let's see now. I feel that's, that's done. So I do not know what's on the top of the deck. We'll see. Let's begin. Let's begin now. Okay. So let's have a look first. I think that's my shuffling to be honest but we'll see if it comes up again so the first card for my question is what is coming up what is coming up for my question is too many what is coming up for my question is what is coming in first card what do my questioners need to know what is coming up I'll tell you something i think this card is coming up it's doing the rounds it really is Eight of Pentacles. Now's the time, guys, to get focused, to get your head down. If you want to train in something, if you want to learn something new, uh, this is a good time to do it. So I don't know whether there's half price courses on at the moment or you just want to develop in something you're already doing, but this is an elevation card. So it's not like you think about something and then the next day you're doing exactly what you're doing. This is like the, 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 the training card, basically. Um, so focus on what you want to achieve when this card comes up. Um, and basically, it's uh, onwards and upwards. He's really got his head down there. He's not concerned about the actions or words of other people because it's all behind him or he's just not being focused on it. And that's a great place to be because if you're not absorbed in what other people are saying or doing and you're focusing on yourself no one can touch you there because you're in alignment you can see uh the beauty almost of what it is that you want to achieve and then you're on a mission almost um so great card to have you know if, there, if, if this isn't learning and you need to get something done it looks like you're going to get your mojo back if you've lost it a little bit um and start to focus on what it is that you want so goal setting is key here which is excellent what is it that you're wanting to do what is it you're wanting to achieve ask yourself those questions um and then it will soon come into the forefront if you don't know what you want if you don't know what to uh, you uh, want to achieve um write down everything that you enjoy your hobbies and are you doing anything with that and if not then try and merge it as much as possible however that works for you okay nice strong card i'm going to read that as a sideline um because i didn't even ask so what is coming in from an external influence situation i know what they're doing they want this to read this as one card this isn't an external situation so what i want to say to you um the queen of wands has came up additional to that because what they were saying is just let them know uh whilst this is like the goal setting card do it from the heart, basically. Do it from a place of intuition. The Queen of Wands is excellent uh, because she accesses her own creativity. Um, she isn't faced by anyone or anything. Um, and she's sitting on a throne there, okay? So basically meaning she's the hierarchy version of herself. Um, so don't put anyone on a pedestal. Don't look at anyone less, less than. Um, just look at yourself um, with as much power, enthusiasm, optimism as possible, okay? Um, there is a sense of strength again coming in from these two energies meaning it could have been hard or you might find you know the funding a little bit difficult but stay in your own power and all the good things come from that no matter how long it takes um so just thank the universe there for the little additional message the little additional card coming in there um okay so from an external situation what is coming in for my questioners outside influence what is coming in it's too many what is coming in from an outside influence that's face down what is coming in outside? Okay, that was face. Are we going to do face down cards? Let's see. No. <laughs> Bottom of the deck there, you've got page of cups. Okay, so this could be some sort of message coming your way, or it could be you sending a message to someone because I don't know what position it's going to be in. Page of wands. <laughs> 
pick two pages interesting um page of wands guys so you know you've got the queen of wands here in your position as an additional um clarify almost for the eight of pentacles you've now got the page of wands coming in from an external situation this is really really good i like this because once you start to get into alignment of what you want now this isn't with a person though if you want somebody then that's a different energy altogether but if you want to obtain a certain status or a certain qualification or a certain home whatever that is the page of wands coming in to help you is a contact that will get you to a to b type thing okay the page of wands is an enthusiastic energy so it's somebody who feels your vibe okay not somebody who would rip it to pieces and say no you can do this but then you'd have to do this it's somebody that is on your page okay the page <laughs> uh, the page of wands um so this is coming in and then they'll look up to you to a certain degree because they'll say do you know what after everything that's happened or you know what you've been through you're still getting to where you need to get to um so there is a sense of recognition the queen of wands the page of wands they will fuse together somehow okay but this is really looking quite positive on just like it's not even like um a certain area it's not like going, and then what will happen is this could happen it's it's just like a a booster it's like you've charged yourself up to the universe and no one's done it for you you've done it yourself and it's almost like you've given yourself a bit of a kick at the bum guys if you're on the honest truth um and this is what it feels like and then once you do that and realize your worth and your when your vision becomes a lot more clear the universe will conspire to help you achieve that okay hence why the page of wands isn't like a big drastic kind of almost like the emperor type energy it's coming in as it should okay because you're a minor at the moment, so you're getting a, um, an infancy type energy to meet you on each frequency, each vibration, if that makes any sort of sense. So you'll get there. Um, let's have a look in your position. What else is coming in? Keeps getting better, guys. Three of pentacles. So if, if some of you are looking at a new job, or starting a new job, entering into a new home. There's an identity here, okay? Because I just feel, because you've looked at yourself differently or you're looking at yourself differently, everyone else will start to look at you differently as well. So say for example, if you have low self-esteem or you've been down and like you can't do this or this is difficult, you're gonna get that type of energy around. You know, you might get the odd booster, people or person, uh, but it just looks like everything comes together. It's like a sea, a wave of um, ambition, aspiration um, in the form of people and courage, okay? Uh, because the three of um, pentacles is, is that helping hand okay but it's in your position so you get recognized for what you're doing so this could be promotion this could be a pay rise this could be you thinking to yourself well actually um i have got all the tools i need to get to where i want to be and you could start to set up a little something for yourself whatever that is okay it could be i don't know investment in something or inquiring about something getting to know more people in the field you want to start to work in. If you're training in something, you could get like a study buddy coming up here. Um, but it's the right people, right time, right energies, um, and you're elevating yourself. So whilst it's the Eight of Pentacles, uh, the Three of Pentacles, I know it's less, uh, but it, it's still the momentum. So the um, energy of the Eight is you doing it by yourself. And the Three, there's more than one person in here. So you're going to start to get in the right kind of energies, meeting your mindset almost and sometimes it's a bit refreshing when that happens because then you know it's like you, you stop explaining yourself to people or people just seem to be so absorbed in other things that you're not really into and then you think I can't I can't do it anymore I'm just going to keep doing what I'm I'm, I'm good at or what I want to do um, and then everything starts to change from there let's keep going with this and see what is and cards keep doing this what is underneath the queen of wands and the eight of pentacles what is underneath yes you've got the six of swords so you're clearly moving on to pastures and pastures new this is a card of understanding that sometimes staying in a certain situation staying in a certain place whether that be on a mindset level or a physical level we can't for our own 
soul speak. We, we, we can't ignore our soul path. We, we can for a while. And then what happens is we feel discontent. We feel low momentum. We feel like we can't do much. We don't feel connected to ourselves. We don't feel connected to other people. So the Six of Swords comes in to say there is a reason why moving on is integral to your soul path. Now, sometimes it can be painful. I'm not seeing pain here. I'm seeing actually a welcomed moving forwards. I think for some of you that this could be getting in touch with your inner child a lot more, being truthful, stripping down everything about who you are, where you want, where where you lost your identity, that type of thing. Um, and now realigning yourself to a point of being on the right track and you are the right train on the right track and the, the light is green, okay? Um, and you made that happen. Um, so the Six of Swords is saying, yes, keep steering in that direction. It will serve you so much greater, okay? So there's a gentle energy. The universe is, you could have given yourself a kick at the bum, like I said, but the universe isn't whacking you. It's going, okay, let's like see now where this is gonna take you. Um, underneath the Page of Wands, let's keep with this momentum. Let's see what is coming in. The star card, guys, underneath there, which is the wish card. There's a lot of healing as well. So I think combining the karmic wish and the healing is going to be quite nice for you. Okay? We have the Ten of Wands. So what I'm going to say with this, when we try anything new, when we try a new dynamic, there are going to be external stresses because we don't always know how to do things. Now, that doesn't mean to say you don't know how to do anything. But what this does mean with inexperience, say, for example, with this page of one's energy, they're helping you. They might have an experience in something you could have assigned them to do or whatever that is. And that could just give a little bit of stress. OK, but this isn't stress from your end. This is stress from an external situation. So if you're moving home or if you are moving jobs, just expect a bit of... Oh, I'm trying to spin all the plates all at once here, but because it's a minor energy, it doesn't have to be that way. If you are experiencing or will be experiencing external stresses, take a step back. Again, remember you're steering yourself in the right direction. It's 12.22 when I said that, 2.22. Um, and just know that you don't have to take on the stresses of other people, okay? So we call this the Lord of Welcome burden. The fact that the word welcome is there is in there is because they're taking it all on themselves. If you're getting people around you going, no, I'll do it. I'll just like I'll just do everything around here. Go okay, that's fine. So it's detaching yourself from the outcome of someone else's tone. You don't have to put up with that. You don't have to deal with that. That's their choice, okay? So I want you to know that whilst you're going up and up and up on your vibrational frequency, you don't have to carry other people's perceived stresses either. You've done enough of that. Somebody wants to moan about because the sky is blue and the grass is green, then let them. It's not your job to sit there and go, oh, okay, yeah, that's fine. Because you're absorbing all that energy, guys. And when you've got such a positive momentum where you put yourself on the right track, you don't want to let passengers on that are going to weigh it down. You've got to kick them off. Not when the train's moving. Just go, you can get your ticket, you're getting off. Thanks. Unless they deserve it, and then obviously they can stay on. Underneath the Three of Pentacles, what is coming up underneath the Three of Pentacles? I'm just going to get a clarifier for this as well. Oh. Underneath the Three of Pentacles, what is coming in underneath the Three of Pentacles? So, two minutes. You've got the moon here, and I just want to get a clarifier for the moon. Ooh. Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck, a brand new phase in regards to your emotional self. There is a sense of peace coming in for you guys. The moon and the devil. Two major arcana. What does this mean, I hear you say? Well, the moon is one of the most highest emotional cards, okay? As on a zodiac level, um, it is Cancerian, and then you've got the devil, which is Capricorn. So you could be either one of those signs, but it doesn't matter if you're not, okay? Um, the moon is saying that you have to trust your intuition sometimes, guys, because with the devil next to it, 
it is that overthinking toxic energy. Um, I feel a lot of you might be triggered quite easily with regards to old set beliefs, old patterning ways. And when you get to a certain momentum, whether or not the stresses of other people trigger you, um, or you look at yourself and think, oh gosh, where am I going? You know, have those panic moments. Then the moon and the devil would come into play. The overthinking will come into play. And then you could um, risk almost resetting that old programming, that old cellular belief that we have sometimes um, and going back to where it was. But don't look at this as, oh no, that's what's going to happen. Look at this as more of a heads up. If this isn't that, then the devil will be contracts. You're signing something. So some of you are moving, then this could be signing contracts. Um, but the moon, basically, guys, we're not meant to know everything, okay? We're not meant to know exactly how the little tiny details are going to figure out. Just trust the universe and know that it's going to work out as it should, when it should. Um, and... Um, Any kind of overthinking with regards to how things are going to turn out will just amount to stress, anxiety, and all that sort of stuff. I've just realised I didn't get my clarify cards. Bear with, and I will just get them now. Um, so yeah, so the moon and the devil, um, but this is a powerful, powerful kind of ending almost for for this spread uh, because I just I just feel that. For you to go out of your, what you've been doing to empower yourself takes a lot of work. And I think you need to congratulate yourself. The Queen of Wands can also be a good counsellor. So you, because it's in your position, you'd be excellent at doing that for other people almost, okay? Um, so just know your triggers is what I want to say. And just understand that there's so much of the greater good um, when we change the tiniest bit of our psyche or our day-to-day -day life um it's all coming in really really nicely for you okay but keep training in whatever it is that you want to train in keep keep your spirits high with the lighting your fire with interest things that interest you okay so let's have a look as uh, 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 i will clarify and see what is coming in that's one oh there's some up, up right here bear with guys bear with So let's have a look. What is coming in as an overall clarifier for my questioners? What is coming in? What is coming in as an overall clarifier? Anything? These feel really smooth to um, shuffle. Look at this. Queen of Cups. Isn't she beautiful? So you've got the Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Cups. So the Queen energy in this is the more dominant energy. Um, again, there's no male or female in tarot, so it's all about the energy. And what it is asking you to do, it's it's the feminine, it's the um, yin energy coming in quite a lot here. And it's asking you to be a lot more gentle on yourself. Don't talk down about yourself. Don't berate yourself. Uh, you are on this uh, journey. Uh, the Queen of Cups is somebody who has control of her emotion and the Queen of Wands is someone who has control of her vision, okay? So it's asking you to collaborate those two together um, and then you watch. You will be unstoppable, basically. They're both on their thrones, so m meaning your, your energy is going to be elevated to a sense of just happiness. And that's the ultimate goal, isn't it? You don't have to be earning £50,000 a month or whatever. It's it's to be happy. Um, and whatever your happiness is, it's different for everybody. Just understand that not everything needs to be figured out right now, right this second. Um, and don't overthink. Don't obsess almost over the uh, smaller things. Don't sweat the small stuff, guys, because the bigger picture is so much more beautiful than the minute detail okay so i hope that made sense if not then watch me on tuesday did you think of a color let's see what is coming up you've got pearl connect to the divine connect connect to your higher being connect to your higher source thank the universe thank be grateful show gratitude every day that it's listening speak to your guides write to your guides connect as much as possible you can have crystals you can have a salt lamp you can do candles you can do whatever as long as you acknowledge that you are connected and you are not by yourself, you are not this singular energy that's on the outside looking in, you are part of this universe. So look at it that way and speak to your guides like I do every single day, thank, thanking them or if I want to know an answer, I look for a sign. They love that. They love it, you know, but you are part of this tapestry of magic, okay? You, you're creating your own. Keep doing it. 
that is that i will see you on tuesday guys um for personal readings one to one uh, message me i'm um, here for half an hour or one hour um and i will let you know my price and availability other than that enjoy the rest of your weekend take care